Welcome to another PC Sports Cards PSA submission reveal. This is Josh with PC Sports Cards. Today we have a really cool order. It's about 112 cards. Um, Going to go over a couple of topics, give you some examples of cards that I think are a great example of cards to grade, some cards that I would never consider sending in that I don't think you should send in, and some stuff in between. Have some examples of some of the cards that are really, really good and some of the cards that we disagree with. Um, this was an $18 order, so I think people did a great job selecting cards for this level. I don't think anybody undersent something. These, this order was sent in on 11-17, and it came back on, it was completed on 127. so just about two months, including all the holidays, which is a great timeline for the $18 submission, which is now $19 with a higher declared value. If you've never seen these videos before, we do videos and give you our insight into what we think the market is doing, and if we think these are good cards or not good cards to be sending in for grading, and some other insights throughout the thing. If you like that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell. Let's try to get started within the first minute. We got Steph Curry Mosaic Silver. So we usually pick out a few cards, talk about some topics, go over some cool stuff. What I think is really cool in this order is one card that we actually said that we think people should be grading back in October, November was graded in this order. Did well, and I think it's going to be a home run for the, for the submitter. Um, some of these cards are going to consignment. Some of them are not. Um, and they're going back to the customers. Mosaic, Straight Fire. I didn't even know this was a parallel. That's a cool card. Um, and other videos that we do, we do some hobby stuff. We're going to start. We're going to try to start doing some kind of podcast. We're going to set, put up our our YouTube, our uh, Instagram lives on here. A lot of different stuff. One thing we really enjoy is when you guys interact and comment and let us know, agree, disagree, indifferent, think we're geniuses, think we're morons, whatever you want to say about us. We're happy to get any kind of feedback. You know. Josh Allen, Mosaic, Shane didn't win. Great card to auction right now, Super Bowl MVP Mosaic Brady. Guess he, I bet he didn't think he was going to retire right when, that, right when that card came back. Some soccer cards. All right, so we have the first card up. We got a Ken Griffey Metal Universe Champions card. Now, at first glance, you'd be like, why would you say to grade? And this, this card, we said you should grade right when this product came out. By the way, I wanted to show the PSA 10. We have a PSA 9 here as well. Got a lot of information up here. First of all, the card's a dollar. So for $15 to grade or 18, it's $19. So you're into this card for 20 bucks at this point if you graded it, um, paying a dollar, two dollars for it, $19 to grade it. A PSA 9 has never sold, and this is a Pop 1 PSA 10. When, we, when, when this set came out, I love that it's a throwback. I haven't done it in a while. Got all sports in it. Just because the logo is missing, it's still a badass card. Um, and if you look on top of where it's right over here, it's telling you only 27 out of 704 cards for this entire set have been PSA 10s. So we will see huge premiums on cards like this for the nostalgic value. And I think this is going to be a collectible set. To prove this point, I wanted to look up to see if any raw cards had... To see if I could find a superstar where a raw card sold, and then we finally had a PSA 10 sale. Because there aren't that many of them, right? So I found Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's raw goes for eight dollars. A PSA 9 goes for twenty bucks. I'd expect the PSA 9 Griffey to go for about twenty bucks. Pop one PSA 10 sold for eight hundred eighty-six dollars. Now, will that get paid? I don't know. It was a Probstein auction, so I don't know. Um, hopefully it does. I'll find out later if it did. It just sold three days ago. I think that this Griffey is a two $300 card. Um, just because of the nostalgic value and how hard it will be to grade it. I think it's going to sell great, and I'm really happy that one of our customers was the one that was able to get that grade. That's proof that if you know what to send in and who to send in and stuff like that, you will be able to do well. Zach and I recently sent in a bunch. We had a, a case of 2011 Topps Chrome football sitting around, and we sent in a lot of the rookies. We sent in a Cameron Jordan rookie that, again, sells for a dollar. Not a lot of them are graded. And, by the way, keep on watching this because this is all Metal Universe, and that was the only 10 he got. So it's really a hard product to grade. Um, you can see soft corners on all these cards. So back to the Cameron Jordan 
Oh, never mind. There's another one coming up. LeBron James. I should have looked this one up also. I bet that sells huge, too. Huge. Um, we had a Cameron Jordan. That is a dollar raw rookie card. Oh, sh I didn't even know this was... Oh, my God. I didn't even see this one. I just saw the Griffey and stopped. We have another Jordan, so it's pop two now. So this guy absolutely killed it just by getting those two tens. Absolutely killed it. Wow. Didn't even realize this was in here. Wow. I really hope that they can sign that. I'm going to make sure my guys reach out to try to get that on consignment. I'd love to run that card. Um, it's going to go on. It's going to go on Instagram later. We sold the Cameron Jordan. I get very distracted. We sold that Cameron Jordan Pop 1 PSA 10 rookie card for not 50 bucks, not 100 bucks, but $150 fixed price. $1 raw card, 18 bucks to grade, $150. PSA 10, Pop 1. Now, is that common? No. But, does the opportunity still exist? Yes. There is always opportunity if you know what you're looking for and you do the research and you figure it out yourself. Orange PMG Jaden Springer. I guess that's number 200. So, there is opportunity in grading still, guys and gals and whoever is watching this. You just need to know what you're looking for. You can't just send in the same stuff somebody else sends in. We're coming up to the time of year. Top Series 1 is going to come out. Then Bowman products. We're going to have some other products come out. You know, and you, you have to be ahead. At the end of this video, later on in the video, I'm going to show you a card that was another amazing card to grade in November for this time of year, for this price that it's a baseball card that the customer will cash in on because he got it graded for before baseball season and in the next couple weeks is the exact right time to sell that card. What you need to do is instead of being jealous or whatever, instead of any of those issues, learn from watching the videos, learn from what other people are, are doing both right and wrong. Poku Select. Cool card, not a card I'd ever consider grading. Remember, I mean, we're seven and a half minutes into the video, and this is the first time I'm saying it. It's something I say over and over and over and over again. You can you can grade to collect. That's a great strategy, especially using the cheaper stuff, the cheaper end grading, right? If you're grading to make money and you're doing speculative grading to make money, the only question you need to ask yourself is: Will somebody else pay a premium? For this card to be graded in a 10. Will somebody else pay a premium? Not will I pay a premium. All right, so here we go. Cards I would never grade. Under no circumstances would I grade these cards. Why? They're extra thick. I don't know how many people actually care about Obsidian. Number to 30, number to 10. Don't know what these sell for raw. I think the Muhammad Salah is a forty dollar card. Probably get thirty dollars for it. Is a PSA eight? Sancho, I don't know, and Benzema, I don't. I, I don't know what they're worth, but I am extremely cautious sending in thick cards. Usually only like RPAs of key players. Again, this is going to be a huge one. Also, I think. Look, so on the bottom over there, we have the total pop of Obsidian football. For some reason, Obsidian soccer wouldn't show up on the pop report. So, 246 out of 1,774 are PSA 10s. Now, that's better than metal, and I told you to grade metal. I think metal is an interesting product. Um, I think it's desirable because of the nostalgia. I don't think Obsidian is a desirable product. That's why I would, That's another reason I wouldn't grade it. I don't know that somebody would pay a premium for that soccer card to be in a grade. Will they? Sure. Will it go for more than $40 if it's a 10? Yes. Not going to argue that. But the writ is the risk worth the reward. You're spending another 15, 20 bucks on it, maybe even 25 after shipping and fees. If you're not consigning it, are you going to see the return on that grading investment if you get a 10? Yes, you'll get maybe 80 bucks. But if you get a nine, you're losing money. And your odds of getting a nine are way higher, and your odds of getting a 10 are just minuscule. 
right? Now, if you're grading it to collect it and you, you want all your cards slabbed by PSA, then great, do it. If, and I'm not, it could be any company. You could grade them with SGC, BG, BGS, whoever you want. If you want your cards graded to be, if you wanted to collect graded cards only, cool. Get it graded. Great decision to send it in this order, especially if you're going to keep it. But another one right here. Panini Limited Game Day Swatches. You could see a, a rounded corner, rounded corner, rounded corner. See them on the back as well. See white. From, th from this far away, I could see the white. Right? Sure, it's a game use card. Cool. It's a great card. But nobody, nobody's paying a premium for a 7. Right? And it's a lot harder to get a grade. If you, now, if you want to collect that stuff and collect it graded, like this is a sick card also. If you want to collect it graded, by all means, send it in get it graded. Next one. This is the example we were talking about earlier. I want you guys to sell these cards in the next couple of weeks. We got two Judge PSA 10s, raw $36. I'm sorry, raw $20. Uh, PSA 9, $36. PSA 10, $169. And 5,600 out of 6,000 of their PSA 9s are better. Get that card graded, sell it. You spend 20 bucks to grade it. If you get a nine, you're breaking even, and you have huge upside. Odds are strong, 66% at least, that you get a 10. Send that card in. Get that card graded and make your money. These also, same idea. You can make money on these because a nine is still a strong sale. It's a safe card to send in. Guys, you could you could send in commonly graded cards. Those are both over pops of over 4,000 cards. Both pops over four or 5,000 cards. You could still send that stuff in because he's such a popular player. So many people are willing to pay that premium for the grade that you can get that card graded. That's what you need to learn. You need to learn. It, again, I'm going to say it over and over again. First of all, if you agree or disagree, let me know, right? If you think I'm completely out of my mind, let me know. If you have another strategy, let everybody know. Love to discuss it with you, right? Um, but if you're doing it to speculate, to make money, you need to make sure somebody's going to buy it, right? That's the only, that's the only way, that's the only reason to do it is to make sure somebody's going to buy it. Let's try to order. 2003 UD. This is a sick card. I mean, this seems like a PC card to get graded. I love this card. 2003. Older cards, I'd be more likely to get slabbed just because it will reduce returns. Sick Edge. Number 50. Elite Josh Allen. This was a really good overall submission. I know it was only 75% like 9s and 10s. There were a lot of 8s mixed in uh, in this order. This is another one. I would sell this right away make your money on it. So really good order. Green number to 199. Beebs. So yeah, and, and the thing the thing about what I'm talking about when it comes down to sending cards in to get them graded and there's still being opportunity. If you're the kind of person that's just gonna go onto a message board and ask, like, oh, what are you grading? Oh, what are you doing? If you're gonna watch these videos and try to just piggyback on whatever you see other people doing, that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to watch these videos and watch other people and talk about it and look, learn the lesson that's given on what to look for and how to figure out what it could be and then go find the cards that are still missing from the stack. If you're chasing somebody else's idea, you're probably too late. Especially in today's market, you're definitely too late. So... Lori Markin and hate you. Go Devils. Tony Pollard. More Obsidian. Obsidian Collegiate just makes it even worse. Collegiate cards, I just I hope they all disappear in the next couple of years. Maybe keep the super high end like the NTs and the Immaculates and the Flawless and maybe Prism. Because I think some of the jerseys are cool. I actually think that they should make um like bowl worn or do something from like the night before, like when they have the, the media day, like media media day worn jersey patches, and use those. Like, 
Leaf. The last two cards were actually cards that, the last two cards in this order, when we get to them, will be cards that were submitted by uh, employees of PC Sports Cards. Um, so it's cool to see that our employees are getting into cards a little bit more, whether we agree with them or not. This is Bradley's card. He said this is the first time he did not get a 10. Relatively hard to believe, but it's what he says. And this is our boy Kevin. If you ever ask customer service, he's probably the one that's going to answer Jordan Alvarez, Topps Paper, Purple. It's a, probably a low pop card also, even though Jordan has popped all over the place. So, again, guys, hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell to get alerts. We'd love you guys to be checking out these videos. We're going to try to be doing one to three a week. I am going away next week, so at the end of next week, so probably won't get maybe too late next week. I know we say that all the time, and we're going to start, try to start doing some more um, podcast type or informational videos here, and also we're on TikTok if you guys want to give us a follow over there. Same name, PC Sports Cards or PC underscore Sports Cards. Check it out, um, and look forward to doing the next one. Thank you so much for watching.